This case is correctly called follicular lymphoma. And they also mention grade two because the nastier it looks, the higher the grade would be, wouldn't it? But on the other hand, it doesn't even so much matter what the grade is or even what the type of diagnosis is for this lymphoma. The much, much more important thing is the staging rather than the grading. And if lymph nodes are in one lymph node group, that's stage one. If they are in two lymph node groups, but uh, on the same side of the diaphragm, that's stage two. If they are in lymph node groups opposite the diaphragm, one on one side at, and at least one on the other side, that's stage three. And if it's in areas other than lymphoid organs like bone marrow, liver, skin, whatever, then that's the highest grade, I'm sorry, stage, stage four. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, this can't be a lymphoma because I see follicles. Well, this is a follicular lymphoma, and here's why. Normally, the uh, follicles in a lymph node should be only in the cortical areas under the capsule. In the medulla of the lymph node, you don't normally see too many follicles. You see now that the lymphoid areas have differentiated into these medullary cords. And then these lighter areas in between are sinuses. The follicles predominantly should be only at the cortex. Well, this lymph node architecture is 100% effaced because there is no differentiation here between cortex and medulla. You have these large nodules all over the place. So this is a nodular or follicular lymphoma and everything else being equal, the follicular lymphomas do better than the uh, lymphomas in which the pattern of malignant lymphoid cells is diffuse. And um, I think that's all that I wanna say.